everyone, Toby from ableglomer.com here. I want to show you a new toy of mine which I bought via a crowdfunding from This Is Noise. This is the MIDI Blaster. It has four sensors which are det detecting the distance of your hand. Um, you have three different presets on here, different colors, different uh, things doing different colors and showing the intensity of the colors here as well, um, depending on the distance you have. So this has a uh, USB-C connection here where it's powered and sending MIDI over to Ableton and as well a mini jack uh, out where you can set it up to uh, send out MIDI here as well. Um, to a 5-pin MIDI DIN connection. Okay, so I have a little Max for Life device for that because the MIDI mapping can be a little bit funky in Ableton Live generally because it's not very flexible MIDI mapping in Ableton Live here uh, generally. So I created this Max for Life device. You can just drag and drop this onto an empty MIDI track or just drag and drop it anywhere and it will create a new MIDI track. So we are sending the MIDI control change data which is coming and being produced from the MIDI blaster into an Ableton Live track. We are not using the native MIDI map here because that's too limited for us here. Okay, so we need to make sure that we have set up uh, in the preferences under link tempo MIDI, you want to make sure that your import MIDI blaster 1.0 is being activated, the track input here. That's the only one we need. And then on the MIDI track where we have the Max for Life device on, we want to set this to MIDI Blaster. We want to set the monitor to in. So now the MIDI is always being passed through and we can see that on that uh, indicators down below here that MIDI is being passed through already. Okay, so now on the device we get four different fields here where uh, we um, they are representing the four different sensors and lights we got here. We just need to turn this on. It will work out of the box um, with um, the CC uh, numbers and messages which are sending here. But just to show you if you want to set up one um, sensor here so it's now sending MIDI control change data in you just press on S for sync you go over your um, sensor and uh, it will automatically detect the CC number here for you and you already can see you get a monitor here showing you where your positioning are over the sensor where your positioning is over the sensor cool okay so now you're able to map this. So maybe let's create just a simple uh, audio track where we are going to control the send B, for example, here. So if we go to map and now select the B, now this is already mapped and we are controlling this B delay send um, parameter here. So one more cool thing, you can actually scale this, but um, just let me uh, tell you there is a link in the video description here um, for this device, which is a Max for Life device. You will need Ableton Live Suite or uh, Ableton Live Standard with uh, Max for Life bought as an add-on to make use of this Max for Life plugin here. It is donation based. So you can pay as much as you want or you can get it for free. Always donations are welcomed, obviously. Cool. So we got the scale out function here and we can turn this on. So MIDI CC data um, is scaled from zero to 127. So 128 steps in total. So we could limit this range. So for example, if we want the B cent um, just to go to, um, let's say, um, uh, close to 50% down only. So we would put the minimum um, to 64. And now the output of this MIDI mapping would be scaled to don't go under 64, which would be roughly 50% at this point here. Cool. So um, now you are able to set up multiple MIDI mappings. You're not bind and you're, you're not you're not sticking to the only uh, MIDI mapping you could do via the MIDI native MIDI map um, mappings in Ableton Live here. You can set up multiple devices of those and just switch them on or off depending on what you want to control. I have one a little bit more advanced um, um, 
Max for Life device for that as well. I will link that in the video description here as well. It's called Advanced MIDI Control um, Dials and Faders. Yeah, you will find a link in the video description. Cool. Um, or have a look at ableton.com. As I said, you can get the device I'm showing you here, MIDI Blaster Ableton Live Controller for free or for a donation. Again, donations are welcomed, obviously. Um, yes, really cool device. I'm looking forward to use the MIDI Blaster Live. Um, take care. Please check out my other quick tips and devices, Max for Life plugins. Bye-bye.